Albuquerque Kerkorian is considered to be one of the most important figures in shaping Las Vegas, creating the concept of the mega resort. He also built the world's largest hotel in Vegas three times. Kerkorian rose from poverty to extreme wealth. He made his money by buying, building, and selling companies like MGM Studios, Chrysler, and GM. Very competitive, but also very kind and generous. Almost all the philanthropy he ever did while he was alive was anonymous. Kokorian was shy, rarely gave interviews, and was incredibly private. He was known to surround himself with the best and the brightest to get things done. Mr. Kokorian was just an incredible force and mentor in my life. And I always wanted to be a physician for as long as I could remember, but I also uh, enjoyed storytelling. He very kindly took an interest in me and wanted to support me and wanted to encourage me to really push my own boundaries. Dr. Eric Israelian is a gastroenterologist who currently oversees the Division of Digestive Diseases at the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. More to come on his amazing work later. But right now, let's talk about Kerkorian and Israelian and how they became a team. In 2010, Mr. Kerkorian basically said that, you know, we have to try to get the Armenian genocide recognized by the United States. Kerkorian's family had immigrated to the United States to escape the Armenian genocide. Israelian's grandparents were Armenian genocide survivors. There had been attempts to make films about the genocide over the years and lots of pressure not to make them. But Kokorian decided it was time. He was determined to educate the public about this very dark time in history. He had obviously been thinking about this for decades. Given my background, you know, it was not an obvious, uh, you know, alliance, but he just basically said, you know, you're, you've always been interested in storytelling. So Dr. Israelian got to work. He oversaw the project and brought a talented ensemble together to create Kerkorian's vision. Directed by Oscar-nominated director Terry George, The Promise is an epic historical drama, a story about survival, love, and faith, starring Academy Award winner Christian Bale. Oh, I'm reporting on the war. Oscar Isaac. I have to get this out of here before there's no time left. He wants us to help his family escape. And Charlotte Laban. We have to help them. It's very dangerous for Armenians right now. Kokorian financed the entire movie. He handed over $100 million to make his vision become a reality. Sadly, he passed away before the movie hit the big screen. By the way, the proceeds from the film were donated to charity. The Armenians were not Turkic. The Armenians were Christian. They've been wanting to get rid of this minority for a long time. Also simultaneously, while The Promise was being filmed, the documentary Intent to Destroy was made, which focused heavily on historical facts and denial. Genocide is ultimately about erasure, and denial is a way of sealing that erasure. He did always remember his Armenian heritage, and it was very important to him to have the Armenian genocide recognized by the U.S. government. And although, sadly, he didn't see that happen, it did happen in you know over the last few years, and I know that it was in no small part due to him. 